Hi, I'm Chris James, and you're watching A Healthy Alternative. Today, we're going to be discussing why you may be fasting and not seeing the weight loss that you expect. Stay tuned. We're missing a piece of the puzzle. You start getting healthy and you just become a better person. We need to start focusing more on the individual. Before we get into today's video, I just wanted to briefly give you guys an update on the book because I told you I was going to be releasing the pre-sale either this Sunday or within the next 10 days, and I believe that was last Sunday. So this is my first book, right? So uh, as I'm going through this process, I'm seeing that um, I don't want to rush things, and there are small, intricate de details that go into getting the book published and everything finalized the way I want it, and so I don't want to get myself bound by a particular date as of right now until I get a little bit more comfortable with where we are with the final publishing process. So uh, I'm not going to announce the pre-sale today, but it is still in the works. It's coming soon. But I just wanted to give you all that quick update. Uh, it, you know, I tried to get it done, but it's, it's just, uh, I don't think it would be wise. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, today we were going to be talking about why you may be fasting and not seeing the weight loss that you desire or expect or have heard about. And uh, this is a topic that, you know, has been brought up a couple times recently in my lives and things like that. And of course, people are always wondering about the weight loss when it comes to fasting. So it's just a popular topic. Now, I did a video a while ago and we talked about, you know, having proper bowel movements in general, but especially during a fast, I think most of us notice that our bowel movements slow down quite a bit. Now, a lot of times people think that somehow fasting is causing this or that they should break their fast because they're constipated or, you know, that they need to take something to move their bowels. And, and this is a huge contributing factor to if you are not seeing the weight loss that you expect on your fast. What's actually happening is the body for the first time in your life, maybe, you're, you're seeing how slow your bowels actually move. If you imagine that your, your uh, colon and your intestine is just a series of tubes, and imagine it's like a tube of toothpaste, okay? Now, if you take the cap off of a tube of toothpaste and you start squeezing from the bottom, the toothpaste comes out, right? So imagine that the, the squeezing method that you're doing at the bottom of the toothpaste is you putting food in your mouth. And as you're putting food in your mouth, you've got all of this fecal matter built up in your system and you put food in your mouth and you're squeezing it out uh, your anus, essentially. Sorry, TMI, I don't know. But uh, that's what's happening oftentimes. I mean, and, and, you know, and it's just a visual, okay? So when we stop eating, we're literally not squeezing the bottom of the toothpaste uh, container anymore. And so you're not seeing the bowel movements come out. I've had people who were clearly backed up. Like, I mean, you could tell when someone's backed up based on, uh, you know, their, their skin and their weight and, and you know, other features um, that it just, your body just screams at you. Of course, we don't, we don't really pay attention to those alert mechanisms. And they'll tell me, yeah, Chris, I'm always regular. I go every day at the same time, blah, 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 blah. Well, first of all, if you're eating three meals a day, you should be having three bowel movements. That's the first thing. But let's just say you do have, you know, a regular bowel movement and you, and you have a big one. That's good, but that doesn't mean that you're not backed up. The true test of seeing how well your bowels move are when you are fasting. You stop eating and you can see, you know, are your bowels going to continue to move? Or I, I guess in, in reality, in a perfect scenario, you wouldn't really have anything left in there. You would have eaten your last meal. You would have had a bowel movement probably that same day within a few hours, and then you should be technically empty. But obviously, that's not what, what happens. We have anywhere from you know, 15 to 20 pounds of extra fecal matter in us at any given time. So that's one of the main reasons why you may be experiencing minimal weight loss on your fast. Now, with that being said, you can, you could do several things. You could do uh, colonics, you could take um, herbs, uh, you know, anything synthetic, I would stay away from, you know, your synthetic laxatives and things like that. But there's plenty of herbs that'll get the bowels going. Before you actually start your fast, you could you could eat certain foods. Yellow dragon fruit, I know, is amazing for moving the bowels. Turkish apricots is amazing for moving the bowels. Apple juice, if you're if it's you know a little bit lighter, 
Uh, that helps move the bowels. You could also do a Epsom salt flush. You get you some food grade Epsom salt and you could flush your system out. So there's many different ways you could do it to get a, get a jump on it. You could do it a couple of days ahead of time. And then that way, if you, you do feel backed up on your fast or constipated or whatever the case may be, you know, you won't, you won't have all that pressure on your system and you may see a little bit better weight loss. Now, let's keep in mind, most of your weight loss doesn't actually come from removing fecal matter, although that can be quite a bit of it. Most of your weight loss comes from your breath. And so if you're not getting the weight loss that you desire, it could be because you're not getting enough sleep. And I know sometimes when we fast, we, we get that, that fasting insomnia, as some call it, where you really can't sleep, you have a lot of extra energy. But if you can sleep or if you can do things during the day to kind of wear yourself out to, to, to give you a better night's rest, that's going to be beneficial because, yeah, you're going to lose most of your, your weight while you sleep, but you're losing it through your breath. And the reason why you, you lose most of your weight while you sleep, and especially through your breath, is because we breathe more naturally while we're asleep. So you could actually practice breathing exercises, especially during the day, you know, during noontime or your meditation time. And that will help you lose weight more quickly as well, uh, just because you'll be, your lungs will be detoxifying more efficiently. Another reason you may not be losing weight on your fast is just purely water retention. Every month, women have their menstrual cycles. They retain water or they become bloated. Uh, it's, it's you know very common that women may see big, big ups and downs with their weight loss while they're fasting, even going through that, that period of time. That's not a guarantee but it's, it's something to consider. Also, uh, you know, I was reading Andreas Moritz, the liver flush book, and he mentioned that during full moons, we, we hold on to water. So that could also be part of the reason why you're seeing, you know, the weight kind of stop or, you know what I mean? Not do what you expect it to do. And it, it, it could, I know that probably sounds pretty far out, but um, the way that the energy from the different you know, celestial bodies affect us. I think that we don't, we, we don't give it enough uh, credit how, you know, how we're affected by the celestial bodies. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I'm an expert on it. All I know is when I read about my, you know, astrology and things like that, you know, it, it's oftentimes very, very accurate. So I think it's something that's worth looking into and understanding more because I was always discouraged from doing that. And so as I get older, it's something I'm looking into. But back to the weight loss issue. Uh, in general, the reason why you're not seeing the weight loss that you want to see is because your body isn't releasing contamination like it's supposed to. We obviously talked about fecal matter and we talked about not releasing it through the breath, which means that the lungs aren't functioning the way they're supposed to. The liver plays a big role in all of this as well. And when, just, when you look at the overall detoxification systems in the body, they may be low functioning. You may not be getting enough structured water, right? Energized water or structured water is what's gonna help the body release that toxicity. This is why I push the sun water so heavily. This is why I promote the gym water bottles. You know, this isn't just because they're pretty or because I think it's something cool. It's because it genuinely helps. So there's many different things we could look at. And then, of course, the final thing that we can kind of look at, and this, I don't think this is really where you all are at. If you're watching this video and you're like, yeah, I fast for a week and I don't see weight loss, this probably won't apply to you, but I'm just going to throw it out there since it's kind of part of this topic, and that is the fasting shrink week. So if you fast for three weeks or more, or should I say, if you fast for more than three weeks, you are in the range of the shrink week, which means that you're going to have an entire week where your body does not lose weight. It just holds on to weight, but you lose inches. It's part of that, that magical time where the skin uh, tightens up and shrinks. Anyway, I've got videos talking about that. I also talk about all of these topics more in depth in the academy, the AHA Fasting Academy. So I encourage you all to check that out at ahafastingacademy.com. It's, um, it's a monthly subscription where you can join. There's a community there and you can really get the core principles that AHA teaches. And of course, we'll be updating that. Uh, we're, we're working on a project right now where we're gonna be updating the academy and a, a lot of different features, features and platforms as it relates to AHA. 
So, you know, you could be looking forward to all of that stuff. So I would say that, um, you know, don't get discouraged if you don't see the weight loss that you personally think you should be seeing or you expect. If you are fasting, especially if you're doing pure water fasting, you can do no wrong. You are doing the right thing. Uh, before I go, I will mention this other, other reason why you may not be seeing the weight loss that you're, you're expecting, and that could be because of the type of fasting that you're doing. Oftentimes, people will be doing like a one meal a day strategy or you know alternate day fasting strategy, and if you are not coupling those strategies with proper eating habits, um, you know you may not see the weight loss that you're looking for. For example, oftentimes people who do alternate day fasting get themselves in a lot of trouble because they they basically they don't eat one day and then they eat the next day. On the day they eat, they eat 50% or even 100% more than they typically would. So it's like making up for lost time, which means that you're you're eliminating all the benefits you got from doing the fast the day prior. We can't increase how much we eat on our days, uh, you know, our eating days, and then fast on the other day. It, it's, it's just, it becomes counterproductive. So you always want to be focused and honed in on what it is you're ingesting every day. And it doesn't just have to be food. This is just your overall consumption, whether it's, you know, sodas or, um, you know, processed foods or, or, you know, dairy is really, really inflammatory and will cause you to hold on to water and things like that. So you want to keep all of that in mind. It's, it's, it's a big picture thing that you got to uh, kind of approach this with. And I just wanted to bring, shed some light on this. I know I've, I've talked about this before, but it's about time to revisit some of these topics. Uh, last point. I've never done this before, but if you made it to the end, uh, you deserve a reward. So uh, I am offering opportunities to interview with me uh, through YouTube. I usually go through Facebook only, but uh, I decided to do something a little different this week. So if you're interested in sharing your journey, your testimonial, or whatever you have for us on a healthy alternative platform, shoot me an email at chris at a healthy alternative.org. That's chris at a healthy alternative.org. Shoot me an email. Let me know you want to share a testimonial. Give me a brief overview of what you've experienced. And I may select you. We might be talking on uh, you know, camera coming up pretty soon. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, the application of knowledge is power. And I'll see you all next time.